Hello. In this demonstration, we'll be covering the function transformation, as found under the transformation section of the toolbox. The function transformation is a field value transformation, meaning that it's not constrained by the data set uh, or record set cardinality rules as some of the other transformations you might run into. So you can pretty much use this function transformation uh, anywhere. Uh, the function transformation basically takes source data, as you see here, and it'll use the values uh, from the source data, uh, apply a function to these values, and come up with an output that I can then map from. So in this case, I'm using the max function, uh, and I'm going to compare the columns B and column C, and it's going to output me the larger of the two numbers. So if I preview the data here, you can see that indeed the larger of the two numbers is my output. So if I expand the function box, you can see that it's divided into a left pane and a right pane, the left pane being the parameters for the function, in this case first and second, and the right pane being the output. In this case, I only have a single value. Anytime I have just a single value, the name of my output will be value. Uh, if I, and, then I, and then I can map from this value. Uh, in this case, I have two parameters as my input and a single value as my output. Uh, that is not always the case, as you see in my next example, where I have uh, this, in this case, this is a, a name parsing function, uh, in which case it takes in the full name and the output or the, in the right pane is the tokenized values of the name. So if I preview the data in this case, you can see uh, all of the available tokens available to me to map from. Uh, to use the function transformation, simply go to the toolbox, drag and drop the function uh, onto the diagram, at which point you will be presented with an empty action box. If I try and expand or collapse, you can see that uh, nothing happens because I don't have a layout. To, to generate the layout, you'll have to choose the function, which you can choose by selecting properties, and this will bring, open, uh, bring up the function selection screen. Uh, the function selection screen contains uh, the function list, which uh, is all of the out-of-the-box out of functions, including custom functions, uh, available to Centerprise. Here you can see they're all available by category, and I can see all of them by selecting all. And this will give me the list of the signatures of the function, and if I click on uh, any one of these uh, functions, I can see the description, including the parameters, and then the output uh, returned here on the right. So in this case, I'm just going to select uh, one of the mathematical functions, uh, round, in which case it takes two parameters and returns me a, a double value. And here you can see the description here at the bottom. Once I click OK, I can uh, use this, uh, uh, I can open this up and then start mapping into it. So in this case, I'm just going to start mapping the number to number. And a lot of times the functions require that uh, some other, in this case, uh, you know, the decimals, uh, in this case the number of decimals that I want, uh, which I'm going to use in conjunction with the constant value map. So uh, a lot of times you're, when you use functions you're going to need uh, constant parameters and, you'll, and this is how you'll, you'll feed into the function. Uh, and now once my function is set up I can map uh, to destinations as I would with any other map. So that uh, concludes the function, and uh, thank you very much.